Hello and welcome to this demo video. In this video, I am going to show you the ENM screen within the Prognosis Encounter, which has been updated to match the ENM 2021 requirements. To begin with, I want to point out that the changes outlined here only apply to the new and established patient ENM services. The selection of ENM codes for other services remains the same. With that said, I am going to begin by going to the encounter of a new patient. Once done with the visit and the encounter documentation, you can go to the ENM screen from the table of contents on the left. The ENM code set associated with your encounter type will already be available. Starting from the left, you will notice a new option to access the new ENM code guidelines. You can use the screen as reference while you get used to the new guidelines. With the removal of the new patient code 99201, we have ensured that you can no longer select it. Since HPI, ROS, physical, and history are no longer considered while choosing a code, these columns will now show that they are not applicable for code selection. According to the new guidelines, you could select a code based on medical decision making or the time factor. If you choose to use medical decision making as the basis of code selection, you could click on the hyperlinks for the appropriate level of MDM. That would bring up a pop-up. This pop-up has been created to help you pick the options and ensure you meet the criteria to qualify for a certain level of MDM. For example, if you click on the low complexity link, you are presented with options. You can then select the appropriate options based on the problems the patient presented with. For example, you addressed one stable chronic condition today. And for that, you had to review notes from an external provider, as well as you ended up ordering some tests and there was low risk of complications. In addition to selecting these options, you could also enter any other comments in the additional comment section. Upon clicking OK, the system will give you a message to confirm that you meet the criteria for that level of MDM. Once you click OK and then click Save, the ENM code selected will then be a part of the assessments screen under the CPT HCPC section. Similar changes have been made to the established patient ENM code set. To show you how to use the time factor as the basis for code selection, I'm going to move to the encounter of another patient. So if this was an established patient and you spent 35 minutes with them, you can then click on the ENM section from the left TOC table of contents and then click on the appropriate button under the time factor column. Let's say 30, 35 minutes would make it 30 to 39. Upon clicking the time factor button, you will be presented with a text box to enter the details of how were these 20, 35 minutes spent. For example, if you spent 10 minutes reviewing notes from another provider, 10 minutes documenting the information in the encounter, and 15 minutes ordering the tests, you would enter that information in this box and then click OK. These notes will then be saved and clicking on the save button will drop the code into the assessments screen under the section CPT at CPC. It's important to note that if time factor is used as the basis of code selection, you must enter how the time was utilized in the comments section as demonstrated here. The new 2021 guidelines also change the way you would report prolonged services. This means if you saw a new patient for an extended period of time, you can now bill for every 15 additional minutes spent with the patient using the new code 99417. To demonstrate this, I'm moving to another patient encounter. 
for this patient we have already selected the code 99205 which is the high complexity medical decision making code so if you spent a total of 100 minutes for this visit which is 26 minutes more than the time you would consider for a high complexity visit you can bill for those 26 minutes by including the new 99417 code with the appropriate number of units based on the number of additional minutes spent with the patient. Once selected and saved, the ENM code along with the prolonged services code and the appropriate number of units will then drop into the assessment screen under the CPT HCPC section. All changes outlined in this video will be effective 1st of January 2021. This means you will see these new options only for encounters dated on or after 1st of January 2021. Thank you for watching this video.